Hey, what's going on guys? David King here. As many of you know, I am releasing my first Lightroom pack that I'm pretty excited to share with you guys. It's called LA Vibes and it was pretty much inspired by all the architecture and uh, landmarks that surround me here in LA. Uh, with the pack, you're going to get 18 total presets. There's 13 color presets, 2 black and white presets, and 3 gray presets. So uh, pretty much I wanted to go through a little walkthrough of them since uh, Selfie only allows me to upload five pictures that I use for before and afters I figured I make a little video and and uh, do a quick walkthrough so you can actually see the presets you're getting with the pack and kinda how they work with uh, multiple pictures instead of you know sometimes I hate the those presets that work for that one specific picture that was of a person with you know darker skin in front of green grass with perfect sunset you know then that preset doesn't work on pretty much anything else and I kinda develop these um, within a mind that they could work for multiple things so I'm just gonna do a quick walk through and uh, I'll kinda go over which preset I I use for this one this is a, a shot of downtown LA um, that I took here and uh, with this I basically des developed the city vibes preset around it I really like the uh, oranges and the the sunset you know glow that it was giving off here but um, again here's some the grain presets you're gonna get some standard grain which isn't that noticeable if you're just you know on here if you blow it up you can see the grain in there we could do less grain takes it away a little bit we can do more grain so you can pretty much apply these to um, you know whatever setting you use so like I said the city vibes we can go through here you just see them changing up in the top there this is a nice one for that too gives it like a oval this one was nice nice contrasty here it gives like some lighter tones this one's nice black and white <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> so yeah uh, like I said these were developed for architecture mainly I do have some pictures of you know with people in them kind of like portrait shots that they can be used for they just in my opinion they weren't developed for that so they don't look how I would want them to look you could get in there and fine-tune it and make them look a lot better but I suggest just sticking with these unless you really want to dive in there all right let's see what we have this nice little West Coast hand that I shot down in uh, LA as well this one obviously and I obviously I kind of tried to title them with you know whatever picture I was doing at the time so my West Coast. It's a black and white uh, preset. Uh, very few presets um, have grain on them already. If you don't like grain, all you have to do is come down here and you can turn the grain off. Um, I also developed these in mind just by using the exposure tool. You should be able to get the look that you want. Um, I tend to shoot underexposed sometimes just to save some of the detail unless I, I'm really trying to go for a <coughs> excuse me over exposed shot and you can see you get you know, just some different looks here so go through and you can explore with these but this shot really looked good to me in, in black and white you can see the before and the afters. I'm really stuck on the I like this was one of my favorites before. After. Alright, here's a shot. And this is one of my favorite shots too. I use the Venice highs on this one. Get those bright whites, get a little color out of the brick, kinda I don't know. Mine reminds me of like Finland or something like that, if any of you guys have ever been there. Um, but again, you come through here and you can check out these 
different presets. This one really brings out the oranges in the wood, the desaturated look. Movie set is a real high contrasty look, and that's kind of actually interesting. I hadn't even to bring up the shadows on that maybe a little bit. The blacks, Let's see that contrast. Yeah, it looks pretty nice right there. Um, then you can just use the exposure up and down to kind of get the what you, how you want it to look. Uh, Vernon's yard. This was in Vernon, California. Use this preset right there. Brings out the uh, the glow in that. Go through here. This one's pretty nice. See, so, so here's an example like this one. Preset is obviously a lot. It's too overexposed. So it was already plus two on here, but you should be able to like bring it down and get kind of like a nice look. Something like that looks really nice. So you should really only have to use the exposure. You know, once in a while you might have to get in here and mess with these other sliders, the highlight shadows, whites or blacks in your basic panel. <coughs> This one I like a lot. This was my, I believe this one, yeah. This one has a real nice, I don't know, look to it. I don't know how to describe it. Um, yeah, it looks nice. Again, let's scroll through here. Here's a movie set. It looks pretty nice. Kind of gets rid of those, uh, those blues that I like. Here's one that's kind of only leaving the blues in. This one, uh, another shot I got. Of, uh, they were doing a commercial, I believe, for Back to the Future, or AT and T, or something like that. It's it's already been on TV, uh, but I was using movie set on this one. That one came out really nice. Again, come in here if you if that's too overexposed for you, you can. It's all kind of within the exposure slider. If you get that and you, these are too dark for you, then you can just come back in here and bring some back in with the shadow. This is the Eastern. And I believe I use yeah, this one. You bring out that nice blue hue that that building has. This one's really nice. But again, you can come in here and See that multiple uh, presets work on different shots. This one's nice. <coughs> this might be one that doesn't work on everything. This was kind of just to leave the, the blues and, and greens kind of in there. Really desaturate everything else, but. It looked really good on this shot. I had it uh, cropped, kind of like, like that, just to bring the this Volkswagen uh, van in there that they had out there. It looked really nice. Okay, and here's just a a, a fire escape. It was kind of boring to me on. Um, in color, it was pink, it was different, but I thought it looked better in uh, black and white. So here's a black and white example of that. It's real contrasting already. You can see I have some green in there. Again, if you don't like it, just take it out. It goes away. Crank the contrast up even if you, or if you want to do. Uh, so picture I didn't taking this picture I didn't even you probably can't even tell but um she got me and this one was a uh, photo bomb <coughs> but yeah this one looks good too in this picture you could tell it was super dark 
So again, other presets it. So like this one example. Let's see if this we can get it to look better with the exposure, the little exposure. Uh, not to my liking, but it looks a little better. A little something different. Doesn't look bad, but uh, yeah, just the exposure going up and down. You should be able to get something. This was some cool apartment buildings. Um, I got just walking by, so I didn't really sit there too much time to get my exposure right. As you can see, it's a little dark, but... Um, which one did I use here? I think I used... This one. Yeah, that one really brought it to life. And again, that's not, no brushes or anything or use. I'm showing you guys right now that just a few click of the a few clicks of these uh, presets, and they look significant. Look significantly better to me, at least. So we can get a couple cool different looks out here with that real blue, real blue sky. Bring up these. See how that looks. Look pretty interesting. All right, and this is a lower grand. If any of you guys have ever been there in LA, um, I think I titled this one. Yeah, lower grand. There you go. That one's easy enough. This one actually looks good on a lot of pictures. You just have to fix the exposure. But I like the way that one kind of just gives different looks. Another shot from Lower Grand. Uh, this is Underworld. Gave it like kind of like a Gotham Batman type of vibe. Underworld. And then, um, see, all these look pretty good. Here, and this one looks pretty nice too. Like you said again, it's very dark on that one. So I like that. A little, a little darker. And then, so here's you can see how those kind of look. Here, let me do this one first. <coughs> So this is a shot I got with my Mavic out at Venice Beach at the skate park. And this one I call Trifts Up. Just kind of gives you like an instant uh, that bluish orange look. So we actually go in here into the hue and see if we can get to get the color of the water to however you want it. So I like that, it looks a little better. Versus the original. Looks pretty cool. And then, uh, like I said, here's some pictures with actual, like, you know, people as your subject in here. I didn't develop around them, so a few of these might make their skin tones look a little crazy. Like this one. Um, but, I mean, if you know what you're doing here, obviously the oranges are all the way up. You could bring these down. is already all the way down. Doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of cool right there. Um, see, um, this one probably is going to look good. Yeah, that one's like an instant. Uh, that one looks really good to me. Yeah, you just have to get in here and play around with them. Desaturated city. Let's see here. around with something like that. Those are super bright. Something like that. And obviously you could find 
anything you like in here. Um, that has like a nice tone. You just take saturation out. You'll have like a pretty decent uh, black and white without doing too much. Again, if you really want to get in here and make it your own, then you can get get in there and tweak everything your your heart desires. Another shot. A lot of these were at lower granite for some reason. Um, again, Underworld looks nice on there. Saturated City looks pretty cool. It's a nice, like, dark look. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, where's this one? There's a lot of oranges. You could probably bring these back. Yellows. I don't know. So his name was his name Sage. I forget what it is, but uh. This is one of my favorite shots we got there. Where he brought that out and I had it, I think, like a portrait mode when I had posted it. It's pretty cool. Whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much a rundown of the presets. That way you guys get to see everything it comes with. It's, again, it's 18 total presets, 13 color, and you have these two black and whites, the urban and west coast, and then your three green. But again, you can get down in there and play with it. You know, if the regular green is just a little too much for you, you could try the less green. If you want even less, then just get in there and lower it. <laughs> few of these do have uh, some vignetting on them. Again, if that's just not something you like, just come in here and get rid of it. It's very subtle. Maybe if I didn't tell you, you guys may have not, may have not known. Um, but yeah. So, hopefully uh, you guys like these. I'm going to be doing a sell for anyone that watches this video I will in the links or in, actually in the description I'll put a coupon code in there um, probably for at least like five dollars off or something like that so uh, just check that out give this video a thumbs up comment if you guys want to see anything further maybe some portrait presets next or something like that go ahead and let me know all right appreciate you guys watching thanks